smart challenge. Woo! Gotta start training. Jogathon is coming up. So get your heart ready. Get your heart totally prepared to give and your heart trained to run. Because it's gonna be a fun event. Let's do it. Okay, so today our announcements include the Jogathon, the Heart Smart Challenge. It's taking place on Saturday, February 10th at Poinsettia Park from 9 to 1. Get trained, be there. And please remember, we don't have school on Monday. Yay, it's MLK Day. So please make sure that you do something good for our community because Martin Luther King Jr. did a lot of good for our entire United States and ultimately the world, right? Pally donations. Um, sixth grade parents are going to be getting an email from me. Um, please make sure that you help donate towards Pally. Um, it really helps us to be able to make this an awesome opportunity for our families. Also, January 24th for fifth grade families. It's um, a professional development day for teachers. So uh, fifth grade families, there will be no school for the kids. However, for sixth grade, uh, you guys will be starting your first day of Pally. So make sure you come that day. Exciting news. YMCA coming up. Uh, we have our contract with them. And so um, on Wednesdays, we'll be offering uh, after school programming at the Y. Uh, it'll start at 2 and then you'll be able to pick up your student from the Y in the evening. Um, if you're interested in getting more information on um, Wednesday, January 17th, so this coming Wednesday, uh, you can meet us here to then walk over to the Y um, and then we'll uh, talk to folks there and they'll give uh, information about the program that'll be coming up. Um, so if you meet us here at dismissal, that'll be at 135. We'll walk over there and the information session will start at two o'clock. So, um, and it's, it's pretty inexpensive. So I really hope that lots of families join in and use this as a resource for families. Also, congratulations to our basketball team. They won their first game. So good job. Um, and then last but not least on less positive news, um, we did get notification from Jennifer Rowe that she will not be returning. Um, she gave us this message to read to you, so here it goes. Dear Larchmont family, in 2009, having finished my teacher credential, I was on a quest to find the school that all the textbooks wrote about. The one that was innovative, creative, deeply meaningful for every child. Google Maps pulled up Holly Grove's address and led me to a website that outlined a mission statement that tugged at this budding teacher's heartstrings. Each part of the community shaped me to be the educator that I am today. Children whose insightful questions, unique backgrounds, creative thought processes stretched me to discover and understand diversity. Families who entrusted me with the education of their children and supported me with their time and words of encouragement challenged me to grow and stretch myself. Fellow teachers whose doors were always open shared their ideas, projects, insights to, into children. I'm writing to share with you that my time at Larchmont has come to a close. It has been a difficult decision to make and one that I make with great hesitation, especially as it is the middle of the school year. As I entered into my new role as a mother um, and given some limiting personal circumstances, I decided to stay home for my family. I want to thank you all, my students, families, and fellow staff members for all the love and support you showered on me these eight years. As I move from a classroom of 24 to a classroom of one, I will take all that I have learned with you, uh, from you, uh, with you, uh, to this new vocation of mother. So sincerely, Jennifer Rowe. So we will definitely be missing Jennifer Rowe and um, Hopefully she'll come visit us on campus and we'll get to meet her, her new family edition. Have a great weekend, everybody.